What's up guys? This is a little tutorial that I'm putting together for people who still use Audacity. Um, it's a nice little program and it's this little trick that I, uh, I found with um, one of the newer versions. I'm running, uh, what was it, 2.4.2. Uh, and uh, I'm, I believe they just came out with that. So uh, this is for people who don't feel like upgrading is the best choice and still use Audacity. So um, there's a problem with Audacity, and there's always been where you can't record over mistakes. And this has always bothered me. So we're going to get into this and um, configure Audacity for you know, recording over mistakes. So uh, let's get into it right here. Um, I have Audacity open, and this is, let's, uh, th this is something you can follow along with. It's 2.4.2. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, I'm going to reset the entire thing by going to control panel and uninstalling Audacity altogether. So we're working with a clean slate. And I'm going to go over here and grab my um, URL. This is where you're going to install Audacity. Um, I'm going to use version 2.4.2. This is the latest version. So let me go ahead and just grab that. Go ahead and install. Now, if you're upgrading, you're going to have to... Um, Reset preferences. Uh, you're going to have to back up any EQs that you get. Um, you're probably going to have to write them down because uh, the old version of Audacity used... Um, I, I forget what kind of file it is, but uh, they used a certain type of file to export the data. So um, now they use text files. I have no clue why, but they use text files. But, uh, let's see, let's, I hate the look of this. I'm just going to go control P and interface classic. And that's the audacity I know. All right. Everything's working. All right. So to back up your stuff, um, you're, you're going to have to, let's just, throw something on here real quick so we can bring it up. Uh, you actually have in the new version, graphic EQ and filter curve. And this is what it looks like. So you're going to have to go in there and put all your stuff in again. Uh, I know it's annoying. I'm sorry, but that's... If, if you want this um, audacity to work, you it, it's a little bit of work to do. So what we're going to do here first is go into control p preferences that's under edit uh we are going to go into recording and we're going to um go down to punch and rec uh, roll recording and this this is what they call overdub so we're going to make both of these values zero now the reason why we're doing this is because uh pre-roll it's going to be annoying on uh when you hit shift d to uh to use this and it's going to give you a countdown which i guess that's okay for some people but that's really annoying to me let's see what that did okay so this is this is normal um just recording in audacity and i want to i want to record from right there so i want to record from right here so if you hit record there's the problem right here there's two problems here. There's the one where it starts here, but also puts this little annoying line. So when you go in here at the end of your file and you forget that the, this thing is here and you go in and you highlight your um, your noise to, to get your noise profile and then highlight the, the entire file by double clicking, it's only going to do this. This is why this line made me stop using Audacity. The, I, and I know, uh, you can just click it and it's gone. But, here's the thing. 
here's another thing that we can do is go to, uh, let, let's just put multiple lines in here. All right, so now we have multiple lines. I got gnats in here for some reason. Uh, we have multiple lines in here, so edit, clip boundaries, and then join. And it, whoops, sorry. You have to control A anyways. This is the only workaround that I've, I've found for this so far. So this is the thing right here, is when you record and you want to start from here, you're going to hit Shift D. And now we're recording in that same, in the same track. And if it's not recording in the same track, we can go over here to Edit Preferences, go to Tracks, and uh, I believe, where is it? The track behaviors. It's in here somewhere. Uh, re recording, sorry. Um, uncheck this. Record on a new track. But if you reinstalled Audacity for this purpose, this should be off by default. Okay, so I want to re-record this entire thing here because I hate how it sounds. i just get rid of that. I'll give you the workaround in a minute. All right, so um, Control D. We're just going to, it, it's going to delete the whole thing, and there's my new part right there. And there we go. So, and the line's still there, but, you know, I, I have a, I have a somewhat of a workaround for that. It's not really a workaround, it's more of a make your life easier kind of thing. And I can do this from anywhere in the, in the file. I can even do it from the end. Now, I've noticed in some instances, it won't put that line there. I have no clue why. The line seems random. So what we're going to do is uh, one more thing. And if you don't want it to, I believe it's off by default now. I believe that was, you know, pinned playhead. Yeah, uh, you want pinned playhead off. So it doesn't do that. So you can see that. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into keyboard and we're going to you know, we're, we're going to find uh, edit clip boundaries. So under edit, we can also search for this, but I'm, I'm doing this to show you where it's at. If I can find it myself. All right, so we're going to go ahead and and uh, look up join. So there it is. That's no, nope, that's the one you want right there under clip boundaries. So what we're going to do here is, I don't know, pick, pick a shift plus, uh, anything that isn't already taken and it'll tell you, like I used shift Q and set. So if, if it'll, this is what it looks like when it tells you, like, Shift D, set. All right, so uh, that's telling us that punch and roll record is already assigned to Shift D. So we want, we want to keep Shift Q. Make sure you input it down here. Set, okay. Now, when we go ahead and record, it's Shift D. Well, for... When you're starting a new recording, starting a new track, it's always R. All right, so now we have... God, I'm clipping. I'm sorry. Uh, I have this up for um, the purposes of uh, another video. All right, so now we, now, now we have a mistake in the middle. So now we want to re-record it. Just go ahead and hit Shift, and you, you can see this up here. It's um, it, it's changing an icon. So shift D and it's going to get rid of everything afterwards. All right, and that's my workaround for that. Now we just need to control A, shift Q and the line is gone. So just make sure that you remember remember at the end of your recording or if you do it each time to control a shift Q or, you know, whatever you set it as. So this makes audacity way more valuable, at least to me, in my opinion, for narration and all that. And th this is pretty much what this video is even for is for people that 
do narrations and they make mistakes and they still want to use audacity and they don't want to sit there and go go through here and cut you know they they don't want to have to do this the entire time and go through the entire like 20 to 45 minute file sometimes and cut out mistakes you can just record all the way through oh i made a mistake put the playhead you uh, click right there and then punch roll record and then go there's your mistakes out and audacity is actually useful for something like this and and it does actually cut out a lot of time to do it like this so i hope this really helps somebody and um i i, I hope uh this makes everybody's life's easier and um tell me what you think down below and uh share this with people that you know who still use audacity for uh recording anything like narrations or voiceover work and let them know about this little workaround for not being able to record over your mistakes and th this actually uh I, I I just went off on a tangent last night. I'm like, you know what? I got to get Audacity record. It's been years and uh, just happened to have a punch and roll record feature and I never knew about it or maybe it's new. And I just happened to build this computer behind me and then get this latest version and it just happened to have that feature in it. So there you go. And I'll, I'll see you guys next time. And um, remember, talk to me down in the comments and tell me if this helped.